Welcome back to the Express at Lohi Mall in Burnaby for a special celebration put on by Disney on Ice. Now later we're going to show you how the new show Let's Celebrate combines culture and fun. But right now with Road Trip, we're taking you to an institution that understands that same concept. It's the Royal BC Museum. Travel along with us on the Quality Assured Collision Road Trip as we explore the many marvelous attractions and activities of beautiful British Columbia. There's one destination in British Columbia that tells the whole story of the entire province. All in just one road trip. It's the Royal BC Museum in Victoria on South Vancouver Island. And now you get to see even more than in years past. Yay! With the launch of a new exhibit, giving you a closer look behind the scenes. Through this magnifying glass, the exhibit will uncover some artifacts that were previously off limits to the public. Interactive displays showcase objects and specimens, a sample of the museum's entire collection. BC has the most biodiversity of any province in Canada and the scientific work of museum curators and archivists help to keep track of it all. There's about just over 750,000 records of natural history uh, species in BC in the collection. An important factor of having a natural history collection is that you're collecting uh, pieces of time. The Royal BC Museum was founded in 1886. That's about 125 years ago. And for a number of years, it was housed in BC's legislative building, right here in the East Wing. In the 1960s, the collection got so huge, it needed a new building to call home. And here it is behind me. Back then, there's about 100,000 visitors per year. Today, depending on the exhibit, it's between 300 and 500,000. The museum you see is a place where my brain can play, and I like to play. <laughs> and when my brain is playing, I am learning. Eight years old and Jack Campbell is a regular visitor to the museum. He has a very inquiring young mind and he recently caught the attention of museum staff when he prepared a pretty tough list of questions for one of the curators. Are you the future curator for the Royal BC Museum? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I actually think of when I grow up I want to be a rock star, but that's my backup job. <laughs> It's unbelievable. It's, it's a must for every adult, every old lady, and every child. And from what I can see, the kids love it. It's really cool. What do you think? It's the best in the world. I think it's really, really fun. Like, yeah, really, really, really cool. cool. Yeah, like, there's so many details, and, like, everybody wants to come and see it. What are you guys pointing at? Um, we're in we're moon snails and... Moon snails, what, are they snails from the moon? No, they're snails that live in the sea. Well, I think it keeps them engaged longer. If they're, be, if they're able to touch it and play with things themselves, then they're going to absorb more of, the, more of the information that they're seeing. This is a real hands-on experience. It's the only place you're going to be able to get to do this safely. Good Canadian beaver fertilizer. You're going to have to check out the exhibit for yourself because there's a lot to digest. You know, it really brings the province to life. Did you just see his eyes move? Just saw his eyes move. And I'm just going to buy my entire family season's tickets. That's the way to do it. Yes. Part one of Behind the Scenes will be on display here at the Royal BC Museum until the fall of 2011. So you've got plenty of time to plan your trip down. In Victoria for the Quality Assured Collisions Road Trip, I'm James Green. Entertaining and informative, the Quality Assured Collision Road Trip. Weekends on Shaw TV. Always something new and exciting. Earlier this year, the Royal BC Museum came out with their vision for the next 100 years, which includes more collections and more space to grow. Now today on the Express, we're at Lougheed Mall in Burnaby for a special celebration put on by Disney on Ice. And later, we're going to see how Mickey has grown and what he's added to his repertoire. But right now, if you like a mouse in a pants and vest, ready to see what the dogs are wearing on today's Wedding Bells segment. Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Wedding Bells. I just got engaged. And I did not. We're on an adventure to plan the big day. At Sarah's wedding, there's going to be a best man and two of man's best friends. So we headed to Barking Babies to get the boys suited up for the big day. Good boys, good boys. This is Mr. Moth. And this is Brooklyn. 
In my store, it's about the clothing. That's what our focus is. So we have cocktail dresses, two tuxedos. Wow, look at all these clothes just for canines. Mm. Oh, <gasps> who loves you? Who loves you? Matches my dress. They're your babies. They're your babies. Aren't you? They're their babies because since we've been here, they've had a number one and a number two on the floor. But mommy's got to clean it out. Are you a beach baby? He loves the beach. Why do my dogs bring out the crazy in me? Okay, so what are the boys gonna wear for the wedding? A tuxedo for Mr. Ma. Okay. Good boy. I know Brooklyn's a boy, but he kind of looks like a girl. He kind of does. And they did it. They put poor Brooklyn in a dress. Look at this boy. Look at him. I don't think he's happy. I think we should try a tuxedo. They actually are nice, like fabric. Nice, nice fabric, and, but see how stretchy that is? Yeah. Comfort number one. I no, love you. I don't think this dog likes clothes. And I can't, they kind of look like they're having a little gay marriage of their own. <laughs> but Brooklyn was sure happy when the treats were brought out. So very exciting here at Barking Babies. This little guy just came in, his name is Cooper. And he's very cool, and he needs a sweater. Then we headed to see Sarah's dog trainer and prep the boys for their walk down the aisle. A lot of people do want their dogs to walk with them down the aisle. It is a really special day. Um, people live with their pets, they love their pets, they want them to be there for the big event. And how many dogs walk down the aisle? No problem. I'd say 0%. <laughs> My dogs are geniuses, so they're going to be the 1% that can walk down the aisle, no problem. Okay, here we go. So be really exciting, pat your leg. Come here, Mom. Come here. Okay, let's try it with her. Here, I'll him. take this turn. Oh, him. <laughs> Sorry, okay. you look like a girl. Here, Brooklyn. Front. Come here, Brooklyn. Come here. Oh, no. Okay, it was clear Brooklyn wasn't cut out for wedding party duty. But it was starting to look like Mr. Moff could be in the running for best man. For Shaw TV, where are the wedding bells? Okay, dogs at weddings, I guess I can see that. But other pets that have been spotted at weddings include cats, horses, lizards, and even snakes. But what about mice? Mickey Mouse, well, we're going to tell you where you can find him around the Lower Mainland, coming up. Up next on The Express. Disney on Ice celebrates the cultures of the world. So this is my regular everyday camera, which I use to take pictures. Right. Space photography with your personal camera. They take fantastic pictures, right? But they also make, take fantastic uh, astrophotography pictures as well. The Express. This is your local voice. The Lounge Hair Studio. Specializing in cuts, colors, styling, extensions, and products. Book online at loungehairstudio.com. Welcome back to the Express at Low Heat Mall in Burnaby. The stars of Disney on Ice Let's Celebrate have come out to play and promote their new show, Coming to the Lower Mainland. Everybody wants to live happily This show is one of the best shows I've been up on. It's not like your classic show where you go and you watch the shows that you've grown up with. This is the one where they take all the characters that you know and they go around and they go like, well, we're going to celebrate what you guys do. They go and do birthdays, they do Halloween, they do Valentine's Day. We even go around the world and do Mardi Gras from New Orleans. We do Cherry Blossom Festival from Japan, Carnival from Brazil. It's a blast. The theme is celebrations from around the world is a huge colossal party. Mickey and Minnie get lost. They start off together telling the story of celebrating like an unbirthday party, which everyone knows with the Mad Hatter cast from Alice in Wonderland. So everyone gets to relate to having an unbirthday. And then they get lost and they celebrate things throughout the world like Sakura, which is the Japanese fan dance. Minnie does that. Mickey goes to China and has the Chinese New Year. If you're not from that party and you don't know those celebrations or holidays, you get to learn about them and be part of it. So it's really fun. I would tell anybody to follow their dreams. You can feel the excitement. 
I pushed and pushed and pushed to skate all my life, and it's given me what I love to do, and I wake up happy every day. You can see Disney on Ice Let's Celebrate at the Pacific Coliseum in Vancouver, November 24th to the 28th, and at the Abbotsford Entertainment Center, December 3rd to the 5th. And now on the Express, we go from Disney stars to digital space. Tim? Uh, yeah. Uh, what's you, what are you doing here? I'm trying to get a, a picture through the, the telescope there, but it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I can think of two reasons why you're having a challenge. Yeah. Number one, it's daytime. Okay. And two, you're using a, a phone from 1989. Right. Yeah, so, but we can take pictures uh, using uh, technology and, and the telescope, right? And you've, you've shown me some of your pictures before, so how do you, you do it if you don't use a, a phone from 1989? Um, I use my own DSLR camera, digital SLR camera. Okay. So, uh, so this is my regular everyday camera, which I use to take pictures. Right. But uh, the advantage of this one is that it's got an interchangeable lens. Okay. So I can take, take this lens off mm -hmm. and I can attach the lens to the telescope and essentially use this whole telescope as my lens. Cool. Now, could people actually try that with our telescope if they, if they came down? I know we only have one, one type of mount, don't we? Do we have a mount yeah. for this? Well, you can, if you have a DSLR camera, you can definitely bring that, and it makes the job a lot easier. So a DSLR is something like this is one Canon, Nikon makes them, Pentax, Sony, they all make, okay. uh, make them. And the, the prices have come down a lot in those. I know when they first came out, they were a lot of money, but uh, yeah. uh, they're, they're so, a little more reasonable. I mean, they're, they take fantastic pictures, right? But they also make, take fantastic uh, astrophotography pictures as well. But if you have a regular point and shoot camera, uh, you won't get the same quality of images, but you can definitely try. Okay. Uh, and you can aim at some of the moon or the brighter planets. If you are interested in taking pictures of the nighttime sky and you have something more advanced than my uh, phone, you can come down. Uh, again, the observatory is open Friday and Saturday nights. We always have somebody here. It's always weather dependent, so if it's a clear night, we do open it up. And if it's not, well, then you might be able to get a little chat about how you can do better astrophotography on your own. And again, as Reminder says, it doesn't take a giant telescope like this, even leaving your camera out on a field uh, with a nice wide open lens, leaving it open for a long time. You will be able to pick out a lot of those beautiful stars up in the nighttime sky. And with the, 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 the weather in Vancouver, yeah, you never know. So um, it's a good thing to, to to keep practicing, uh, make sure your camera's equipment stays dry. Um, but if it is a clear night, come on down and uh, give it a try, right? Exactly. Excellent. Uh, for the Express and the HR McMillan Space Center, I'm Cam Cronin. I'm Reminder Samra. And uh, happy shutter bugging. If you'd like to win a family pass to the HR McMillan Space Center, be the first correct emailer now, expresscontest at shaw.ca, to tell us the name given to that type of photography. And good luck to you. Now, of course, the Space Center is a great place to visit year-round. There are a few events that happen only in time for the holiday season. And that's where we're shining our Express Spotlight. Skate on Vancouver's only outdoor pond at the peak of Christmas. Learn about reindeer, visit with Santa, and tour the decorated trees all atop Gross Mountain. See Van Dusen Botanical Gardens as a winter wonderland. Visitors can stroll through brightly lit pathways and watch the spectacular dancing light show. Based on the classic holiday film, this tap dancing delight brims with tunes and themes that will fill you with the joy of the season. And as we mentioned, Disney on Ice Let's Celebrate is at the Pacific Coliseum November 24th to the 28th and in Abbotsford at the Entertainment Center December 3rd to the 5th. Now that's it for today's Express from the Disney Celebration at Lougheed Mall in Burnaby. I'm Johanna Warden from All of Us on the Express. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. And in the meantime, we're going to leave you with a look at a new exhibit at the North Vancouver Museum and let you know that they're looking for volunteers.